Taurus, welcome to your reading. My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Taurus, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Taurus, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned until the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. You got the three of swords and the four of cups. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you, you've been waiting for a desire. It hasn't happened yet. And right now, you're focusing on the details rather than the feeling, right? The details means you don't have it. For example, when am I going to meet my soulmate? Why have I not met them yet? Or when am I going to get that promotion? That means you don't have something. When you don't have something that's lack and lack does not carry the thought of abundance. So even if this is real and practical and realistic, it does not help you. Law of attraction. You have to change your focus. You have to start attaching the energy of the feeling of the desire as if you already have it. So for example, you have to feel what it feels like to be with your soulmate right now. You have to feel what it feels like to have that promotion right now. Visualize it. Oh man, it feels so good to be with my soulmate. Go for a walk along the beach. Mm, they make me feel so safe. Now you're releasing what you want to possess because you already have it. And now the universe will give it to you. Quantum entanglement has proven this. So I'll show you exactly how to do this. You will be rewarded, but you have to first release what you want to possess. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, Taurus, before we even get into your read, <clears throat> excuse me, let us dive into your affirmation for today. Write this down in the comment section and quantum entangle with it. I am open to receiving abundance. Yes, you are. Write this down in the comment section. Command, assume, expect. What is your birthright, which is abundance, but you have to let the universe know I am ready. Angels and guides, I invite abundance. I am open to receiving abundance. Write this down in the comment section. Let the universe know you're ready. So right now, there's been a lot of wishing, wanting, hoping, needing, and that right there is casting a spell, and that spell is turning into lack, right? So you don't want anything. Anytime you're wanting something, needing something, it doesn't feel good, right? Like I really, really want something. You feel anxious, you feel paranoid, you feel scared, right? Because that means you don't have it. Now when you have something, ah, there's that relief. So right now your angels and guides are telling you the strategy that you're using for waiting for something to happen, that may, you know, apply in the third dimension, like when you're waiting for pizza, but it does not apply when you are manifesting in the fourth and fifth dimension. In order that for your angels and guides to be able to help you and bring your manifestation to you, you have to live in the desire, become the desire. Right now you have to visualize your desire in a short clip and rinse and repeat. So for example, say if I wanted to meet my soulmate, I would visualize myself holding my soulmate's hand Go for a walk along the beach. Just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Five, 10 second clip over and over and over and over and over again. I would do this in a calm, peaceful state, hence sit in silence meditation. Five minutes of this over and over and over again. Not only did you reprogram your subconscious mind, so now expressions are going to be you know, uh, put towards being on autopilot. Your body language changes. You, the way you articulate yourself changes. Now you're going to be aware of all these things. But on top of that, that is the language you speak to the universe. The universe only speaks feelings. Remember, so if you want to talk to the universe and you're like, universe, help me. Universe is like, I can't help you because you asked me in the languages of English and French, French and Cantonese and Spanish. I don't speak languages. I speak feelings. Ask me again in feelings. Universe is like a parent that watches their child get up and fall, get up and fall, get up and fall, and does not help it because it wants that child to develop the skill on its own. So universe loves you, but it's waiting for you. The moment you're like, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm going to start feeling the event, and now you're going to feel empowered, and now you've developed the skill to create a significant you and create anything you want, everything gets effortless, right? So right now, remember, it takes the same energy of wanting something as it does as if having something. The only reason you don't feel as if you have something is because your entire life you've been brainwashed into thinking that this is not realistic. Guess what? The people who told you this, where are they in their life realistically? Are they with their soulmates and rich? Probably not. They probably settled. So why are you listening to the matrix? Why are you listening to unhappy people? Why are you following the, the, the herd, right? Think for yourself, right? Stand up to your ego, stand up to fear, and stand up to resistance. Now you got the seven of cups 
and you also have the uh, the magician here, excuse me, the uh, Knight of Pentacles, the magician's down here. Right now, this is about having opportunities of financial success coming your way, but not waiting for the perfect opportunity to seize the moment. So for example, someone comes up to you and says, hey, I have this great investment opportunity. I did the due diligence. It looks good. Here are the numbers. Now, rather than have your guard up and be like, no, they're out to get me, look at the numbers, see it with company's balance sheet, for example, and then if it looks good, jump in in don't tell yourself oh we'll do it later don't miss the boat now this could go for anything right this could be like someone you run into at a coffee shop and you want to go up to them and introduce yourself but right now fear is preventing you from doing it how many times have we all been there you know you should be doing something but you, you fear is preventing you from following now the only time that this changes is when you change your energy you change your life and change your destiny and this is done through personal self-development which does not mean hard work when you say personal self-development people are like oh i'd rather just sit on the couch is that winning like for example is it harder jumping in a car, driving eight, driving all the way to work at a job you don't want to be at for eight hours, coming home and settling in a relationship that the love's not reciprocated? Is that hard or is it hard to listen to an audio book about something you love? Which one of these is harder? Or waking up a little bit earlier or eating healthy food? Which one of these is harder, right? Exactly. So right now your angels and guys are telling you when you hear personal self-development, understand that your success depends on your development. Guys, every single day I wake up at 2 a.m. the latest, every single day I exercise, every single day I journal, every single day I meditate. All of this takes no longer than one hour. Super easy. Guess what happens then? I am confident, I am magnetic, and I'm going around my life getting opportunity after opportunity. So I'm letting you know from personal experience, this works. Don't do the same thing as yesterday and get the same results. That's the definition of insanity. All right, now check this out. Your animal spirit is rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time, right? Keyword now, not tomorrow. Tomorrow you're not lucky. 10 years ago you're not lucky. Now you're lucky. Now is the present moment. So if you want to create change, do it in the now. That means that if you're going to visualize, do it right now. Don't tell yourself, I'm going to visualize later when I have time. Do it right now, whenever you got time. Whenever I'm in the grocery store and I'm waiting to pay my bills, you know what I'm not doing? Standing next to the person next to me and feeling their little anxious energy. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. It's like, whoa, bro, relax, right? Like, where are we going here, right? I'm not getting caught up in that energy. What am I doing? I'm sitting there with my eyes open and I'm visualizing myself on a beach with my wife going for a stroll. That is what I'm doing, right? Any chance I get, I'm trying to use personal development. So again, you can use this anywhere. On your lunch break, rather than you to look at stuff on YouTube that makes you not wanna feel good, like comparison and, and judgment, and instead, listen to an audio book. Super simple, what do you love? Do you love business? Do you love energy? Do you love, you know, pets? Whatever, listen to an audio book that are free on YouTube, take some notes, and really improve your life. All right, Taurus, now, final message from your spirit guides. They say, keep your dreams alive. Right now, their message is start to identify plans and actions that will lead you to achieve your dreams and goals. Your dreams can become your reality. This is a time when you need to be able to apply detailed planning in order to manifest your dreams and realize your goals. You need to remain focused on the practical side of things. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. It is easy to be distracted by more ideas and concepts. Just keep focused on what is realistic and achievable. Your common sense and pragmatic approach will lead you to a solution that actually works. Begin taking steps that will bring you closer to your dream. So actions, right? Like for example, imagine if you have an aha moment of clarity and you tell yourself, I thought of a product that is going to help change the world. And once I put this in production, I'm gonna get rich. Now that's 50% of it. The other 50% is finding a supplier and actually they figure out the logistics, for example. But action is needed, inspired action, inspired action. Once you get the ball rolling on action, that's why I'm like, write down, I am open to receiving abundance. That is you taking action. When you do something as simple as writing that down in the comment section, which takes like literally zero effort, then you're going to be more inspired to do stuff like that. You're gonna be more inspired to go for a walk, more inspired to look at things positively, more inspired to take 30 seconds and meditate. If you've never meditated before, after this video, sit down, put your palms up, close your eyes for 10 seconds, breathe in, listen to the sound of your breath for 10 seconds. Boom, the ice is broken, congratulations. Now you can do it for longer, you just meditated. Super easy, guys. But again, take action, let the universe deliver the abundance that is your birthright. 
All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, chat soon.